Hey, what's up guys? James here, back again, this time we're playing a JRPG. Trailer's just about to play, so this game is um, Trails of Cold Steel 2. Uh, I played the first one when I was in Hong Kong, um, and Charles introduced me to it. But anyways, I'm gonna play this one, this one's a, pretty, uh, a bit old. Trailer's just about to play, so I'm gonna click ahead. Let's just play it. Hey, Pop, how's it going, man? Little Kaden. I didn't know he had a mecha, and I didn't know that I was gonna lead the whole fucking school. But, anyways, what's up? Um, so, yeah, I'm playing Trails of Cold Steel 2. Uh, let me just launch up the chat. I forgot to do that before. And, um, yeah, just felt like playing JRPGs. <clears throat> so, um, it's been a while since I played the first one, and this game is, it's pretty old now. Um, I guess I'll play normal. <laughs> okay. They did it from the original. Ah, oh, but my original game is on PS Vita! Suck. <laughs> no, I, I I have no because uh, I I played um the first game on Vita. I was bewildered. I was impatient. I felt overwhelming disappointment with myself and anger at my own weaknesses. Thanks for worrying about me. And thanks for reminding me to look up, not down. On my first day with class seven, I was sitting in a room full of strangers. Now I know I'm standing among friends. But even with that, I've got no regrets about coming to Thor's, none at all. Well, you sound like a good guy to have around when the going gets tough. Thor's getting the to know you two shows that okay. there are nobles who live up to that name. You yeah, just it is. keep reminding me how unlike a noble you truly are. Uh, I totally forgot the here. Before uh, I came to the academy, uh, those it. I was a Jaeger. But I'm confident Class 7 is the finest Erebonia has to offer. I can't believe it! My very first class trip! We're gonna have the best time! You deserve the chance to earn that legacy you were talking about. To leave a life for those who'll come after. So brilliant was my time at the Academy that those feelings consumed my every thought, my every waking moment. 
But yeah, I actually totally forgot about the mechas. <laughs> the time I spent with my classmates was something that, in so many ways, changed me. From the strict yet kind instructors who diligently taught us, to the people we met as we traveled across the country. Because I think this game was originally on Vita and got ported to PC. The time spent with them, my memories of them, were like a truly radiant light. And somewhere, a part of me thought that radiance would continue shining for ages to come. But all it took was a single bullet to bring everything crashing down. Go finish your speech in hell. That bullet sparked a fire which grew and grew before our eyes, evolving into a great flame that smothered our light in an instant. Uh, well played, Armbrust. There were no exceptions, be it those seemingly never-ending days or anything else I'd come to treasure. Resound, resound, O oh voice everlasting! Rend night's silent veil and reveal unto all the beautiful world! Everything was reduced to ash. But at the end of the day, I'm C. That's the real deal. The crow armbreast you've known all this time. He isn't real. He never was. Back then, I still didn't understand. I didn't know the pure bliss that comes from being with others, nor did I know the ache that comes from parting with them. I didn't understand what it meant to truly love someone. All I could do was endure the torment of my own sense of powerlessness and bottle up the feelings I could do nothing about. All while trying desperately to fight against that ever-burning flame. Okay. <laughs> so just to be clear, I only finished the first game of this series. And I didn't completely finish either. I left I left like the epilogue. So I'm not really sure what's going on right now. <laughs> but I know for a fact Civil War is beginning. Anyways. Um Yeah. <sighs> But the, the, the UI is, um, this game is pretty old, so that's why the UI looks kind of, um, simple. Because it's supposed to be on the Vita, I'm pretty sure. But anyways, I'll move on to the, with the game. Where am I? How did I get here? I feel like I was fighting, and then... That's what I want to know, man. <laughs> Am I dreaming? Of course not. <gasps> okay, he has a mech. And the... Oh, the cat! I remember the cat! So you've finally woken up. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. The cat's finally talking to us. Okay. You're... And I wish it were, but this is no dream. This is reality. Cold, cruel reality. And you're going to need to hurry up and accept that because you haven't got time to waste. His core's been damaged, which means he's not going anywhere anytime soon. So you're going to need to protect yourself, Ashen Awakener. Mm, the fuck? <laughs>
But yeah, I remember I enjoyed the first game quite a bit. I just felt like I kind of want to play something with story since I haven't in a while on stream. Passion Awakener? What are you talking about? Even he doesn't know. How am I supposed to know? Wait. What's going on here anyway? Oh, I remember now. He had a mech at the end. I what is that thing? That. Wait, never mind that. What are you? Ugh, knock it off. How am I supposed to answer anything when you keep bombarding me with question after question? Sleep. You're a chosen one. Chosen by a fragment of the ancient great power. Great power? Power? That's right. Those fragments were the origin of the great knights that appear in Erebonian legends. At times, they protected people from harm and disaster, while at others, they were the cause of harm and disaster themselves. And the being in front of you is one of them, a divine knight known as the Ashen Knight. The Ashen Knight? Valmar? Wait, I remember when I called him. You got it. You've known that name for a while by now. But he's not the only Divine Knight that's active. The Noble Faction has one under their control, too. That's right. The first game was about the Noble Faction versus the Commoner Faction. Um... Yeah. <laughs> that one is known as the Azure Knight, or Dean. Remember? That's the one you fought and lost against. Too. How could I have known that irresponsible playboy was the Azure Knight's Awakener? He's obviously had plenty of experience piloting it, too. He must be pretty dedicated to his cause, whatever it is. Hey, get up! You can hear me, right? Take me back to Trista! Take me back to my classmates! You're wasting your time. His core was heavily damaged in the battle with the Azure Knight. Didn't I just tell you that? And despite that, he strained himself flying all the way out here afterwards. Even when he was barely hanging on, he prioritized your recovery over his own. You exhausted yourself during your first synchronization with him, you know? Damn it! Okay, that means we don't have a mech right now. I completely forgot about whether that mech was sentient or not, but it looks like it is. <laughs> this must be somewhere in the Isengard range, on the northern side of the Nortia province. As all I remember was the first game was very, very introductory towards the series. Like, it was set in school, right? And it was pretty much like him developing his relationship with the characters and um developing strategies i guess like they were just kind of training and then doing uh some missions and stuff that's pretty much how i remember it and then it kind of it kind of expanded a bit and went into the whole noble faction versus commoner faction thing and then the whole civil war started happening so i remember at the very end um, there was something about the king and the king and there was an assassination plot against the king I think and it looks like they succeeded because I completely forgot it's, it's been a while so it looks like Susei the Gargantia chamber <laughs> I'm gonna be honest I haven't seen that <laughs> huh I'm surprised you were able to work that out just from a glance I guess that's what happens when you're raised in the mountains yeah, but I wanted to play this game because I noticed that Steam just released Trails of Cold Steel 3 in March. So two two months ago now. 
So I was like, I haven't played the second one yet. I should catch up on the second one and play the third one. It's because I played the first one. I actually really liked it. Just I played it on Vita and it was in Hong Kong. I couldn't stream it at the time. <laughs> but anyways, now we're here. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to play through the game. Hey, where are you going? But yeah, I remember this cat kept appearing, right? This cat kept appearing in the first game. And um, literally didn't say anything. So this is the first time I'm hearing it speak. <laughs> so I must have missed an event or something. Yeah, the, the controls are kind of different from uh, console versus PC. So I'm going to have to get used to it. Okay. My stuff's gotta be around here somewhere. Oh, this mouse sensitivity is really high. I can sense monsters nearby too. I'm gonna need to be careful. Give me a couple of minutes. I want to mod my mouse a little bit. Because the sensitivity is pretty high, so I want to make sure my mouse moves a bit slower. Yeah, so this game has a um, court system, which is basically sim very similar to uh, how uh, Final Fantasy kind of has the um, myth the uh, meta, or is it? Well, whatever it is, the, um, their their system where you insert orbs into a um, a weapon, and uh, it uh, gives it abilities. Well. This one's not into the weapon, this one is into the modular thing in the world, which is, it's not dependent on the weapon, they only have one per person, I think, but you can configure it. Alright. Alright, not that one. I don't have any other quartz shit. Alright. Yeah, but basically it's like orbs and you chuck them in the, the thing. This thing on the right side here, it's uh... The, what were they called? They call it a, a, an um, Arcus. And it gives them spells as well and abilities. So that's magic, the yeah. Material, that's it. And you can equip the weapons and stuff. Alright. Monster looks like a tough one, but a tough throw is just what I need to get warmed up. Alright. A button to attack enemies in the field. Attack on front will cause the enemy to pause briefly. You can attack the enemy. Then an attack from behind will be stunned. Yep. Yeah. Okay. This is exactly like how the first game was. 
So it makes sense. You attack him from behind, you surprise him. You attack him from the front. It is uh, about the same. Okay. Let's take him out. Yeah. So here it, uh, it um, once you encounter an enemy, then it brings you to the battle screen. Turn order. Yep. It's it's turn based. Uh, there's a bunch of effects here. Let's move. All right. And then you use um, one move per turn, essentially. So crafts depends on CP. If you see the gauge at the bottom, the very bottom, it's got zero on it. So I have no crafts. Uh, arts depends on... But it looks like we can't use arts either. So we're just going to be able to attack. And on the left side is the um, priority order. So it's the order of attacks. Selecting the attack command. Yep, that is so cool. Yep, and then you have range as well. So you can do like stuff like that, a switch between them. So I'm going to go... I'll go here. Yeah. Doing damage you receive damage you get CP, it's craft points, it's the bar at the bottom. And use those points to perform crafts. Crafts is basically uh, physical um, techniques. When attack misses, the target will counterattack if the attacker is in range. Here I go. Okay, okay, okay. Yep. So stuff like that. There. Ha! Let's move. Yeah, and then um, like the uh, special attacks and the craft attacks and stuff like that. They have um abilities and stuff like that. One had delay, which. Forces the priority of them to go down. That's that. Let's keep moving. And the more uh, basic tactical bonus is basically like um just achievements in the battle, right? Where if you fill them, uh, you get uh, exp bonus. Like you can see at the bottom there, it's got 1.1. Um, so it's stuff like multi kill. Um, first turn kill, uh, take no damage, that kind of thing, or weakness and stuff like that. Fuck, it's been a while and I still remember this. Not bad, the monsters around here shouldn't be a problem if you can keep that up. Now I can do better. I need to hurry up and get back in my fighting form. Well, the thing is, you need a CP bar. We're going to need to build that CP bar. Because I remember the thing about Reem is that he's got some really good uh, skills that lets um, him basically delay the opponents for like forever, essentially, and just keep attacking them. Monster Guide automatically records information on monsters you've fought. Okay. Yep. Yeah, and you can view information from the enemy once you've uh, beat them already. It's like stuff like um, what type of weapon they're weak to, their HP, their element, and um, stuff like that. <clears throat> active voice records. This is the last 50 active voice lines heard. Ah, heard me? Okay. I wonder what's going on over at the academy now. Only one way to find out. <sighs> Man, I didn't know that they ported this game to PC. So when I looked at JRPGs and saw Trails Cold Steel 3, I was like, Should did they have get out number two? My Steam as well. Excuse me! You can't seriously be thinking of leaving him there out in the open, are you? <sighs> 
say something. Are you mad at me or something? Why would I be? You only completely disregarded and overruled my decision. <laughs> was I supposed to do? If we hadn't flown away when we did, you'd be dead by now. We probably would have lost Valimar, too. If anything, you should be thanking me. Forget it. Right now, I want to focus on finding the others. If I keep going this way, I should end up on the highway at some point. Sorry, but that's a huge waste of time. It's been over a month since all of that stuff happened back in Trista. Whoa, a month? Holy shit. The fuck have you been a doing? Month? You can't be serious. There's no way it's been that long. <sighs> oh, sure. Don't believe me. Like I said, you completely exhausted yourself during your first synchronization with the Ashen Knight. And I do mean completely. There was a real chance you could have died. What? It's a miracle you were able to walk around like this a mere month later. And it's all thanks to him. He used what little mana he had left to heal you rather than himself. And just so you know, I've been here this whole time watching over you. Without milk? Ah, oh, poor kitty! So I really don't think I deserve all of this animosity I'm getting from you. Uh, I should mention, in the previous game, we used to feed her milk all the time, and like, give, and she would give us, like, she would get affection points. And, we'll, and then we, we would get a bonus later on if we fed her enough milk, I think. I... this can't be. It's been a whole month since what happened near Trista, but then... What happened to the others? Hey! Wait a... Oh, for heaven's sake! <laughs> He's been sleeping on top of a mountain for a month. Zero hyper hypothermia, nice empty pellets. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I was like... How, how does that work? That, that doesn't make sense. I mean, he could have been sleeping inside the bot, but when we woke up, he was, um, not inside the bot, so... I don't think that one will be easy to cut down with my sword. Maybe, might be better off using arts. Alright. Now's our chance! Let's get him! Yep, so that's how you get, like, advantages and stuff. Hit them from behind, and they're stunned, you run into them, kind of thing. Uh, arts can be used by setting a quartz or master quartz in ornament, that's the thing I did before. And arts requires EP, and has a cast time. So it basically means you skip your current turn, you do nothing. On the left side, your icon will appear again somewhere down the line, and it will be, like, delayed a bit. Like, it will be, like, under a couple of things. Okay, and uh, it has elemental properties as well. So arts is basically magic. Okay. Let's move. Looks like I only have firebolt. Yeah. So you see how it says delay? That's basically how how far back I get pushed. Yes, activate. Yeah. Before I yeah get to do it. Here I go. I wonder how much damage I would be able to do. There. Ha! My turn. <laughs> Keep moving. There we go. Oh yes, and CP also gets you. So, um, craft attacks still gets you CP back because it's still a physical attack. <laughs> so that's that's how sometimes if you do it properly, if you set up your whole team properly, you can just like spam uh, craft attacks. Nice, nice, nice. All right, I'm remembering. Uh, was there anything up here? Yeah, I, actually, I can't walk you up here. I'm blocked by an invisible wall. <laughs> These are basically checkpoints. Formant charging station. Okay. 
Old men charging stations like this are found in particularly dangerous areas. Inspecting it by pressing an A button, choosing rest will allow you to recover HP and EP. Yeah, so basically your save point, your checkpoint, that kind of thing. Rest. I don't know if we can actually save here yet. I remember we could last time. Oh, must not be this one. It might be like specific ones you can. So... Most of these JRPG elements remind me of Mario Luigi Superstar Saga series. I haven't played that. How you is it? You really try calming down a little, you know. <sighs> <sighs> you could at least respond. Okay, we'll kill this fucker first before we get the treasure chest. Well, it looks really powerful. Still, I can't let something like this throw me off. I need to hurry and get back to my speed. The stronger the better. Oh, okay. S crop Azure Flame Slash. I think that's like the special. Enemy sighted. Let's take him out. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, so that's um the status um status resistance, I guess. So think of it like debuff resistance in um if you kind of It's a lot of information to start off with. Ah. Why? Why? Why can I not use them? Why why would you not let me use them? Ah, fine. s are a co powerful combat technique that will consume all your CP. Specials that use all your CP, okay. That's right. Yep. Uh, okay. So that's an ulti. Press, press in the Y button. The actual ba buttons and battery. You have the character from the s even when it isn't there too. What's the Y button? <laughs> it's quite similar with how you can stun enemies before you fight and can free roam to complete your chore. Hmm, okay. Oh, when you take damage, your CP also goes up. That's that's another thing as well. All right. My turn. I don't really need to. I look at that delay. Gather on my blade. So I was supposed to That's use it when it wasn't Let's my turn moving. before it attacked me. Ah, I get it now. <laughs> okay, okay. That about wraps that up. I feel like I've got the hang of fighting again. I just need to focus on getting down this mountain as fast as I can. Wait! Without the butt! Okay, let's get back to this. Ah, yes, nice. Alright. Uh... So, um, magic does not heal over, uh, recover over time in this game. You have to use, uh, like, Abilities and stuff to restore it. What the frick is it? Yeah, there it is. Okay. Um, it's only CP that you can kind of restore. So you kind of need to um, be a little bit conservative with how you do it, or just like have um, really good strats that makes sh makes sure that you can get the stuff back. Ooh, I see another treasure chest over there. How do I get there is the question. Oh man! The respawn. Sit. Sit. Get out of my 
my way. Here I go. There! Ha! Let's move. Sit! Ah, crap. My turn. Sit! <laughs> I need to hurry and find the others. <coughs> oh, this is stressful. Hey. Hey. <sighs> What's up, kid? What do you want? Uh, might have been the other corner that I just dodged just now. <sighs> He's mad. I'd asked this before and didn't get an answer. Probably because I was bombarding you with question after question. But better late than never, I guess. Just what are you anyway? Why do you know so much about everything? And don't even think of saying you're just an ordinary cat. Because last time I tried talking to a cat, it did not talk back. <laughs> Oopsie! <laughs> totally forgot about that, didn't I? I'm what you'd call a familiar. I faithfully serve the witches of the Hexen clan and aid them in fulfilling their duties. Witches? As in the witches in Erebonian legend? First the Great Night legend turns out to be based on a true story, now this? I feel like I've stepped into a fairy tale. Well, you know what they say. Truth is stranger than fiction. Whether you believe me or not is up to you. I'm not going to try and convince you. Well, I've got no real reason to doubt you at this point. So, do you serve Emma then? Rather, does that mean she's a witch? She's still a novice, but she is a witch, yes. My job's more to keep an eye on her though. I did always get the sense that there was more to Emma than meets the eye. Yes, we were right. But her being a witch? It's surprising. But then again, the more I think about it, the more it makes perfect sense. <laughs> hmm? What's with the goofy grin? Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> anyway, let's get going. <laughs> oh, that cinder moment's right there. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Let's go. Sit! Ha! 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 Enemies in sight. Ready to go? Here we go. Okay. And I go over to the end, huh? Okay. Zero odds, nice. the others but uh, I need to heal ha! 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 get out of my way here I go Oh, 
I want to delay them to the point where they're below me, but it doesn't look like I can do that. These guys are fast. Second form. Gale! the others. Tiara Bomb, that's basically a cure. But we're just going over with magic. Oh! Level up heal! Oh, I forgot about that. <clears throat> but yeah, you can like, um, equip things. Like, you know, just random equipment and stuff that uh, increases abilities, like delay and stuff. So if we get those stuff, well, we're probably gonna get it like way later in the game. But yeah, once you get that kind of stuff, then you can. Have it. Get out of my way. Let's move. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. Nah, I can't delay them enough. Okay. So. Might be better for me to just attack. the next area so just want to check over here first get out of my way <laughs> my turn I ain't got a free heal second form Damn! I need to make up for lost time that one so proxy puppet what's that revives on care of 50% HP once but breaks afterwards 
Guess I'll use it now, rather not die. <laughs> That is. Ah, uh, nothing. Like special, okay. But yeah, this game is quite lengthy. It takes quite a bit of time. Yeah, that one at the academy, safe and sound. Not to mention Elise, Princess Alfin, and Prince Oliver too. I remember it really did take me a long time to play this game. Again. Enemies in sight, ready to go? This is a, J a JRPG, though, so it makes sense. Let's move. Yeah. My turn. Here I go. To hurry and find the others. <sighs> this is stressful. So yeah, sometimes you get uh, free bonuses on each um, attack and stuff like that as well. Like that last one just then was uh, CP up, so it charged my um, CP bar by a hundred. A heal. Ooh. Okay. Get out of my way. <laughs> Here I go. If you do that long enough, it will eventually stun them. But usually, it's better to do it with a heavy weapon. Uh, we don't have a heavy weapon, so we can't do that with him. <laughs> For that too, but yeah, that, that's fine. Too slow. My turn. So I'm just playing this instead. Cause um, I logged in the Steam and I was like, JRPGs. I feel like playing this. There. Ha! I miss. What is this? How did you miss? <laughs> Let's move. I'll play this for a bit, maybe like one chapter, then we can play afterwards. There! <laughs> I need to make up for lost time. Sure, you've been wanting to play for like the past week. But yeah, I just saw this game and I wanted to play it because I played the the first one when I was in Hong Kong. I played it on Vita. I didn't completely finish it, but it was a really good game. And uh, the third one just released like two months ago on Steam. I knew it. I've been here before. This is the second one, so I want to play this one, then play the third one. Master Ka Fai brought me here as part of my training. That's the name of your former instructor, right? Yeah. <laughs> he was the founder of the Eight Leaves One Blade School of Swordsmanship that I follow. His full name's Master Yun Ka Fai, though most just know him as the Sword Hermit. Man, when was the last time I came here? It must have been, I don't know, five years ago. In fact, if I remember right, my hometown of Ymir is only a few hours away. Oh, really? Well, that's convenient. Wanna head there? We might be able to get there by sundown. If we hurry, yeah. As soon as we get to Ymir, I wanna try and gather information on what's been going on. What was that? It feels like it's coming closer! 
It couldn't be. Oh, fuck, more neckers. I don't know about you, but this one kind of it's looks uh, feminine. <laughs> Tutorial boss fight. Do you know what that thing yeah. is? They're magic golems made during the Dark Ages, and they're incredibly strong. Damn it! What's one doing here? <laughs> Ugh, we need to get out of here now. You don't stand a chance against it on your own. Maybe not, but that's not going to stop me from trying. I, I haven't saved. Idiot, you're still recovering. You don't stand a chance. Give me a chance to save. I haven't All saved. I know is that it's standing between me and everyone I care about. So if getting to them means taking this thing on, so be it. Unbelievable. Yeah, he's a bit hot-headed with that. Bring it on. Okay, okay. How how do I go. do this? Getting two returns? What is that? Game. Okay, uh. Maybe I should just be trying to use my special on him. Yeah. Oh shit, shit. Let's move. Sit. My turn. I feel like it could be. Oh no, I'll, I'll, I'll try using my special on him, see what happens. Let's move. What's the old button again? Ah, okay. My turn. Ah, I don't know which one it is. <laughs> okay. Thinking bugs me a lot of the times, there are way better ways to handle this. There are! It, sh it shouldn't be running, attacking to this right away. This is, this is fucked, man. I am so fucking dead. Marcus, activate! Huh. My turn! Sure. 
So using the ulti didn't do anything. Here I go. Okay, I'm trying. There. Ha! Let's move. There. Ha! Ow, ow, ha! ow. Dart. Please, Let's no, move. no. Let's activate. <laughs> Close enough to its counter attack. God. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Okay, let's try fire attack. Yeah. Putting a dent into it. <laughs> you flipped up more than half its HP. <laughs> oh, so close to you, Mir, too. I told you this would happen. Hey, Bastillion. What's up? Yeah, I'm playing the JRPG today. Ah! Ooh, barrier. Celine. Uh, must have been Celine who did that. Yeah, we crit and one shot me up so fucked. Not here. Not without seeing everyone again. Elise. Not today, buddy. I forgot about the battle scope, actually. Hell. <laughs> 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 I totally forgot about it. See you later. Cross Crusade! Sounds like class rep or or the or today is one of these names. Okay, that wasn't so bad. I did have to manage we, my attacks a lot though. Did that. Oh, I, I would have died. Green. Hey, everyone's <gasps> back. Oh, not everyone, I guess. Surprised that I played the series too. I, I played the a first to game when I was in Hong Kong. Uh, I played it on Vita, right? So I only noticed that um, Trials of Cold Steel 3 came out on Steam two months ago, on March. And I was like, I haven't played 2 yet. I want to see if it's on Steam. And it turns out it is, so I'm playing it now. <laughs> Good to see you're still in one piece. I actually really liked the first game. I'm so glad we hurried. I don't want to even imagine what could have happened if we weren't in time. You aren't hurt, are you? Your Highness, and Tova, and... Rain, <coughs> stay right there! I think that's his sister. That's if I look <laughs> Please, tell me you're alright. You look so exhausted. Who's she? It's been like forever since I played the series, like the first one, so... 
I'm quite rusty. Please. Are you? Really okay. On one month search team, dope friends. <laughs> I feel like I'm dreaming. I never would have expected you to come all the way out here. Rain, please. There's no need to speak right now. Save your strength. We'll take you back to Ymir just as soon as we've seen to your injuries. I'm just so glad you're all right. But how did you know I was here? As my consciousness began to fade, I heard a distinct voice resound at the back of my mind. So bad. <laughs> so mana transfer is usually the other way around. A voice with all the gravity of steel, and yet a strange sense of familiarity, of warmth. And as I listened, I could feel myself being beckoned towards the Wheel of Fortune. Dost thou desire the power? There we go, opening sequence. I'm gonna say out of the characters, I think I liked uh Elisa a lot the most. Like Zara or Emma. Eustace, that's his name. Gaius Miriam. Hmm. I'm I'm remembering the names now. The uh, Sarah Sarah is a teacher. Sarah <laughs> Sarah. It's a sh it's a shame that she's not uh part of, you know the uh, whole thing though. <laughs> I don't think you can um, partner up with her, can you? But she's the teacher, that's right. But I agree. I agree. <laughs> I don't know if you can, actually. Because when I played the first one, I think it was... You can only choose one? You did almost all. Oh, really? Okay. It looks like that dude from fucking. Uh. What is it? The fucking Seven Deadly Sins. I can't remember. The <laughs> Kane. included. Oh, okay. And then that's good. <laughs> Alright, we'll see. Depending on how the story goes, we'll see how it turns out this time. I don't even know if they have a romantic subplot this time. Where am I now? But I have no idea how this game goes. It's like, I haven't seen anything about it. Oh, like, I've only played the first one, so that's all I know. <laughs> Celine, this looks just like my room. <laughs> I knew it. I'm back in Ymir. I'm finally back home. My memories are kind of hazy now, but I think that means everything that happened in the mountains... Why'd it get so cold all of a sudden? You can choose who you want in part four. Oh, okay. Oh, you finally woke up? Yeah, just a second ago. How about you? Feeling better after a catnap? 
So one three, you can pick whoever you like. Doesn't matter. Oh. Hmm, I guess. I slept more than I meant to, actually. You're awake. <clears throat> Elise, um, good morning. Actually, it's probably closer to noon now, isn't it? <laughs> A cat is fine too. <laughs> Elise? Oh, I'm so happy that you're awake. They're siblings. <laughs> you don't know how scared I was. But actually, I don't remember they're blood related though. Does it was all the chaos in the capital, and then we lost all contact with you. We had no idea where you were. I'm just so, so relieved. Hey, hey. I want to spoil you. Holy shit, you can date the cat too. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry for worrying you so much, Elise. No, no, you don't need to apologize. Secret heroine, guys. I knew that somewhere out there, you were all right, and that you'd come back safe. I, I would not be surprised. Welcome home, Reen. It's good to be back, and thanks. <laughs> I see our two little lovebirds are as twitter pated as ever. P pardon? Good morning, Reen. And to you as well, Elise. Hey there. Just swinging by to see how you're holding up. You're here too, Your Highness? I'm really not dreaming then. <laughs> You're so silly, Reen. I'm pretty sure that was the story in the first game. I don't know if they're blood related though. It's it's like I don't know. I thought know. the warmth of your dear sister pressed against your chest was proof enough of that. Y your Highness, please. Let's see money out this summer. <laughs> Well, I'm just glad you're up. I don't know of that game, um, Hajimori. I vaguely heard it once, but I didn't look into it. How are you feeling? Still sore? You've been fast asleep since we brought you back here yesterday. I don't have any serious injuries, at least. Ah, next part, next to Cold Steel. Oh, okay. So, you have to play the third one as well, right? And then... Right. But I doubt I'd be able to say that if you hadn't come when you did. Thanks, Toval. I suppose I owe you my thanks, too. The release for 4 is planned next year on Steam, I think. That's what I saw they plan on, uh, the uh, schedule was. That art of yours didn't come a moment too soon. <laughs> You're both very welcome. I just didn't want to give these two young ladies anything to cry about. Aww. I see you're finally up. Dad! Hello, Reen. It's wonderful to see you back home. I imagine you have plenty of questions running through your mind, but first and foremost is getting you something to eat. We can discuss what to do <clears throat> from here on out. I just skip that. No, I haven't played any of the other Trails series as well, if there are any. I don't know if there are, actually. I only know Cold Steel. is pretty good like just playing the first one i actually really like the story it's uh quite extensive there's a big world behind it it's been a month now since that so-called noble alliance occupied heimdallar at present they have effectively all of the ma nation's major cities under their control the imperial army tried what they could to stop their advances but the majority of their forces have already been defeated i had a feeling that would be the case if nothing else, at least you two are safe. We were at St. Astria when the capital was occupied, so we were caught up in the chaos too. I haven't played any of those games. I, like, I actually have not played a lot of JRPGs. I really like this, the, the genre, I just haven't had a chance to. And, well, 
now that I have, that I'm working, so I have some income, I can spend it a bit. It was only thanks to Toval appearing and rescuing us that we're sitting here now. What were you doing there, Toval? I got an urgent request to escort Her Highness and Miss Elise to safety. As soon as I got there, I booked it there as fast as I could. I never turned down a personal request from Prince Oliver, you know? Prince Oliver asked you? Well, that explains it. He kindly escorted us out of the capital, successfully evading the Noble Alliance's attempts to pursue us. And roughly 10 days later, we were able to reach Ymir. I'm just so glad that you made it here safely. If you remember the event at the end of CS1, it's from Aon or Kisaki. What event are we talking about? Because I, 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 I think I might have missed the epilogue. I didn't completely finish it. Unfortunately, it appears His Majesty, the Emperor and Crown Prince Cedric fell into the Alliance's hands. Well, that's bad. The official story is that both of them have been taken into protective custody, so they're both rumored to be safe. Well, Galeria has disappeared. Yeah, I think you remember that, yeah. However, Prince Oliver's whereabouts currently remain unknown. It's not even confirmation that he's safe somewhere? That's more than a little worrying. He didn't be so concerned, I'm sure he's perfectly well. He made it through all the chaos in Liberal last year unharmed, as you know. He's always been a resilient one. As for Cedric, father and mother, I'd like to believe they're alright too. That's from the event in Haono Kiseki. Oh. I'm, I'm sure they are, Your Highness. I'm worried about the Imperial family as much as anyone, but if you don't mind me interjecting. But you know, I imagine you're probably most concerned about what happens to Tristan and Thor's. Luckily for you, we've managed to get some info on that front. Please, tell me everything you know! What's happening over the academy? Is everyone alright? I don't think this will come as much of a shock to you, but... Both Trista and Thor's military academy are completely under the Noble Alliance forces now, control now. They were both taken over not long after the war began. No. Green? No matter how much I thought about it, I didn't want to believe it was true. What about the students and our instructors? Honestly, I wish I had more I could tell you. There's rumours that they resisted being occupied as long as they could, but not much longer than that. Try not to let concern get the best of you. It's too early to presume the worst has happened. Yeah, I'm with Lord Schwarza here. On the contrary, some rumours would even suggest the opposite. What rumours? Word has it that a number of students and staff were accounted for, but unaccounted for. I see where this is going. <laughs> and the Noble Alliance is still trying to find them. Then that means... Have some of them managed to escape? Well, rumours are rumours. Table is too big. <laughs> Social distancing. <laughs> Even back in 2014, guys. Social distancing. Still, your classmates and Sarah have more than gotten their feet wet at this point. I can't see them being taken down easily. They all sound pretty good if you ask me. What say you? <laughs> what else can I say? I would have to agree. Celine? I couldn't tell you where she is right now, but Emma's still alive, that's guaranteed. You can tell? I'm more familiar, so we've got a link of some kind between us. If anything were to happen to her, trust me, I know about it. Imagine wiping that table off every meal. All I know is that she's alive though, nothing else. How peculiar. Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, well, uh, I, I don't know, maybe they have a maid, or maybe they don't. Anyway, there's no point assuming that the worst happened, the worst, when there's very every chance that it hasn't happened. Yeah. So try keeping the faith, right? Think of it this way, they're probably just as wor worried about you as you are for them. And yet here you are, safe and sound. You've got a point, actually. But think of it this way, as long as both possibilities exist, 
that uh, as long as there are both possibilities, that means both of them exist at the same time. <laughs> Schroding is cat guys. <clears throat> Safe and sound, you may worry it will be, but you're hardly in peak condition. Take this chance to stay home for a time and recover your strength. And while you're here, why not go pay everyone a visit? The whole village has been eagerly awaiting your recovery. That's true. I think they'd all be delighted to see you. And, um, if you'd like, I'd be happy to accompany you. Thanks for the concern, release. I'll be fine on my own. Honest. Sounds like a good idea, Mum. I think I'll just do that. It's difficult to reach the kettle. Alright, see you later, Yipan. Thanks for coming by, man. The kettle? What, what do you mean, the kettle? What's... <laughs> Oh, oh, you mean on the table? There's a kettle on the table. <clears throat> Looks like Elise and Prince Alf. Alfin have already gone out. Like Mom said, it might not be a bad idea to follow suit. This could be a good chance to walk around the village and collect myself a bit. Okay. Occasionally we'll see event markers. Okay. Red is key event, green is quest. That's not mandatory. Okay. <laughs> Yumiya's town map. Okay, cool, cool. So, there's one thing I remember about this game. Is that you need to do side quests for certain materials and stuff. And if you miss them, they're gone. You're fucked. So, yeah. Uh, how about no? we we'll look at that green shit first. Now, how do I see the map? I want to see the map. Like, how do I, how do I pull up the map? There it is, tab. Okay, you need to fill your note. Uh, how the fuck do I do that? Not many things such as people info. Let's see? No. Same button. Yeah, it's pretty harsh. We have any green icons, do we? How do I actually? Oh, I can't even move around anyway. Okay. So I want to see that big map. The I want to pull it up, but I can get it. Yeah. Do exclamation marks appear by default? I can't remember. Back to the dogger. Ah, I have to walk up to it for it to see it. Okay. Ah, uh, that's gonna be hard. Well, there's gonna be a lot of me walking around randomly, so yeah. This is another red exclamation mark. Should I just go talk to that guy and just you know continue? I don't. I I can't tell if. I don't know how to pull up that menu. The um the screen with all, like um the exclamation marks on them. Unless you meant this. No, it's the same thing, shit. I can't I pet the dog. <laughs> That's what I wanted to know. I mean I don't think there would be any um 
side quests right about now anyway, but... I'm just like tapping every single key on my keyboard just to see what it does. Ah, it's a space bar! That's it! Okay, here we go. Right, it's all red. Okay, so I might as well do it anyway. Where are you, old man? I can talk to all of them. Cool. All the Empire's major cities are under the control of the Noble Alliance now. They've been so focused on those, they haven't had time to deal with frontier regions like ours. Thankfully, this means that Yumiya hasn't felt the full impact of the Civil War. It does seem that way. I was relieved to see how little has changed. A nice snowfall is the only real difference compared to my last visit. By the way, I see you chose not to join the Noble Alliance. Is everything alright on that front? Well, I've never wanted to anything to do with the Noble Faction to begin with. There's always a chance they'll try to invite me to join, but I'm confident I can talk my way out of it. I'm a little concerned that I can't get in touch with Viscount Arase, however. You can't? <clears throat> Something happened over in the ground? Or maybe even the Courageous? I'm afraid I couldn't tell you, but it's Viscount Arase they're talking about. He'll be fine. Regardless, I'm just trying to make sure that we're prepared for everything. For anything. Especially since our duties have expanded to sheltering Her Highness. That's true. The Alliance already has His Majesty and the Crown Prince, so it's safe to assume they want Princess Alfin as well. Dad, let me know if there's anything I can do to make your job easier. I'm more than happy to help. Of course. I'm sure I'll be counting on you in the days to come. So, I'll start with trying not to rush things. You shouldn't have to jump in to thinking you need to shoulder more than your fair share of responsibility. There's only so much burden that one person can bear. You think I'm shouldering too much? You remember him? This game has many characters. I remember his face, I remember his name, I remember he was on the ship, I don't remember much else. <laughs> That's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, admittedly, those are uh, Master Kaifai's words and not mine, but they get across what I want to say well enough. And whether I think it or not, this is a good chance for you to get some more impressed. I want you to make the most out of it, right? He's Laura's father. Oh! That means he's a good guy, right? Sure. Thanks, Dad. Wait, I see a door. Radiant Blade Master, strongest in ranged country. Ooh, I see. Oh, here you are, Elise. I wasn't expecting to find the two of you together. Well, it's quite cold outside, so I thought I'd come and give Celine some warm milk. <sighs> I keep telling her that she doesn't need to go out of her way for me, but she won't listen. And that's in the steam here is plenty to keep me warm. Oh no, that wouldn't do at all. You saved my brother's life. At least allow me to try and make your stay here in Ymir a comfortable one. <laughs> Sorry, thank you. <laughs> of him. <clears throat> oh, Sorry, is a fan girl of him. Oh. <laughs> Celine saved my life? And when exactly did this happen? I told her nothing of the sort. I keep trying to tell her it's not true, but she won't believe a word I say. Um, is something the matter? If this was Final Fantasy, there'd be chests lying around in those rooms. <laughs> nope, not a thing. I'd really rather you didn't act like I saved his life, though. If this was Zelda, we could break the pots. Besides, if anything, I should be the one who owes you. What do you mean? <laughs> nothing. Forget I said anything. The milk's cooled down a little now, so I'm going to have some. Thank you. <sighs> if it's Dragon Quest, you find the pot. <laughs> Thinking back on it, 
Didn't Elise later say she spotted a cat when she went into the old schoolhouse? That better not have been who I think it is. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> Don't give me that look. I wouldn't have let her in there if I didn't think it was safe, you know? I was desperate. You just had such a half-hearted reaction to that door, so I started getting impatient and... I can't believe you! She could've... She wasn't in any danger, honestly. The Guardian in there was designed not to attack people unrelated to the trial. It didn't touch her even when she was right in front of it, right? That's proof enough. I'm sorry, okay? I never should've done it to begin with. Emma's lectured me over and over about it, too. You're sorry? You... Uh, um... <laughs> I'm not sure why you're whispering to one another, but regardless, I want you to know how much I appreciate what you did. Like I said before, I want to make your stay a comfortable one. Whatever you need, please don't hesitate to ask. It's okay, really. And, um, sorry. Hmm? Why are you sorry? Well, she does genuinely seem to regret what she did. And Elise didn't come to any harm. I guess I'll let her off this time. <laughs> I really do have one amazing little sister. Compared to her, I'm... <clears throat> okay. Wait, there was another thing in the mansion? Yeah, let's go back to the mansion. What did I miss? She's sorry because the cat tricked the girl into the dungeon to see this one. Turn Queen's power. Yeah, I remember that. It's not upstairs, must be downstairs. Yeah, it is. Okay, here it is. Just in case I forgot. <coughs> oh, that smells delicious. I kind of almost forgot, yeah. Not even gonna comment on that, Max. I mean, if that's what you want to do, then okay. Okay, no discrimination here. <laughs> ah, that smells delicious. Wait a sec, is that a pheasant stew? <laughs> Your very favorite. Your father said he wanted you to have a nourishing dinner, so he went and caught one himself. Really? I'll be sure to thank him later. Speaking of food, you've got a lot going on here. It smells amazing. Well, circumstances may not be ideal, but it's been too long since we last dined together as a family. Ever since her highness arrived, it's been so lively that I feel like I've gained a second daughter. Times like these are when a mother has to put her best foot forward, don't you think? <laughs> you really are the perfect mother. Even in times like this, you're right here, ready to warmly welcome us home with open arms. Can't see that ever changing. Break the pot. Some money in there. Holy shit, there's actually a pot I can break. If only I were half as good a son as you are, well. Mom, is something wrong? It's not true at all. But I had no idea what was going on with you and your sister. I, wor I worried myself sick. At times it felt as though my chest was going to burst from it all. But believing that you two had come back to me safely was the key to keeping myself together. With that in mind, I could focus instead on getting this house ready to welcome me both home. Oh. Whatever doubts you may have had about your place in this family, as long as you're here in this house, you're our son. If you're ever feeling down or afraid, you can always find comfort in my arms. And once you've found the strength to keep going, you can pick things back up right where you left them. Next one. I actually feel a, bit, a lot better now. Well, look forward to dinner tonight. Make sure you work up a good appetite for it, alright? <laughs> no worries there. So, he's adopted. Uh, how do I break it when uh, I don't have my weapon on me? I can't pull it out. <laughs> Joke. <laughs> this is Lady Data Balloon game. If that's what you want, Max. 
I'm not gonna lie, I did question the same thing. <laughs> I was like, hmm, I wonder if the game goes that far. Let's, let's go to church, guys. See, if it's a game, I'll go to church. If it's a real life, no. <laughs> She's praying so intently. <clears throat> Thinking about it, she must be even more distressed right now than I am. Why, hello, Reen. <laughs> You're looking rather well today. Much better than you were yesterday, at any rate. I feel loads better, actually. Thanks. How about you? Are you managing all right here? I'm guessing life in a tiny village like this is harder than you're used to. If there's anything I can do to make things easier for you, though, don't hesitate to let me know. Oh, not at all. I've been simply loving my stay here. The scenery is stunning. The hot springs are oh so soothing, to say nothing of your mother's spectacular cooking. I'm having the time of my life here. I almost envy Elise for growing up in such a wonderful place. <laughs> I'm happy to hear you say that. Still. On top of all that, I was able to reunite with you here. Oh, and meet a mysterious talking cat, too. Not everyone gets to do that now, do they? I still haven't had the pleasure of meeting that ashen knight of yours, however. Perhaps I might have the chance once he wakes up? <laughs> I suppose I can dream. Um, well... I realize I'm the last person who has any right to say this, but there's no need to force yourself to bottle everything up and put on a brave face. I know how worried I am about my classmates, so I can only imagine how you must feel. I... I... I'm so sorry. I'm supposed to be royalty. I shouldn't be getting all worked up about something like this, but... I... Just thinking of what my family must be going through is just too much to bear. Cedric and I... We had a fight on the morning it all happened. I was planning to make up with him that evening, but... I... I... I'm sure he won't hold that against you. We'll be able to make up with him next time you see him. I'm sure that'll be sooner than you think, too. In the meantime, there's no need to force yourself to seem like being apart from them isn't bothering you. Royalty or not, no one would blame you for being worried or upset. And every single one of us here wants to do what we can to help you. I... <sighs> Thank you. I... I'm fine now. Um... I, I hope I don't sound ungrateful, but... I think you should be spending more time with Elise rather than me. This is your first chance in a while to spend some quality time together. I'd hate to take that away from her. Why? <laughs> I mean, it's true that she's a little more dependent on me than you'd expect for a girl her age. But that doesn't mean she needs me hovering around her all the time. Then again, she did seem more shaken up than usual. Maybe you're right. I should try and cheer her up while I still can. Th that's not exactly what I meant. Ah, <laughs> uh, he's dense as usual. Oh, this is so difficult on a fair maiden's heart, I hope you know. You're just making me wish you were my brother all the more. Why? <laughs> if you guys are okay with me downloading the Japanese voice pack, I can. Um, the only reason why I'm using the English voice pack right now is just because it's easier to... Um, it's easier to go through the cutscenes and, well, you wouldn't have to read it, you can just listen. <clears throat> but yeah, I, like, um, I would actually prefer to play this in Japanese as well, so, uh, if you guys want to, I can. Yeah. Alright. Uh, can I? I can save now, yeah? Uh, might as well just save over that, it's fine. Since when am I level 41? Oh shit, I was level 41. Dense motherfucker! <laughs> Alright, I'll be back in just a second then. Let's um...
almost all of them are famous VAs. <clears throat> yeah, because um, I the first game I played it in English as well, so yeah, like I was just like, oh, I'll deal with it. And it's okay. The second game, no, well, I mean, but like, I've I've never played it in Japanese. The first one, so if I play this in Japanese, then it'll be good. Launch configuration tool. Language. Voice language, Japanese. Here we go. Well, it makes sense, though. I mean, I would exp assume anyone who wants to watch this, like, knows Japanese at least, <laughs> or anime. <laughs> and you'd probably be used to watching subtitles. Storehouse for Yumi's Chapel. There are various kinds of equipment inside. Unless you're a dub person, then, um, well, you know. Alright, Phoenix Wings. I should try it out actually. Let me let me check. <sighs> okay, okay. There we go, we got the Japanese voices. All over there. Oh, Serene, you're finally awakened. I'm so very relieved to see it. I was terribly worried about you. Thanks for your concern, Mr. Baggins. But I'd prefer it if you didn't call me Mr. Master Reen all the time. <laughs> Perhaps so, but you'll always be Master Reen to me. What has happened here since the war began? The is gracious, graciously granted to, follow, to us by the Imperial family. We can't allow anything to dampen our spirits. You know as well as anyone the value of these walls. Please do come by whenever you need relaxation. Course. Quote unquote relaxation. It's a maid. Should I, should I bother talking with the maid? Just carry on. Oh, it's you, Reen. Your color's not looking half bad. If you're looking any worse, I was gonna have you drink some of the new vegetable juice I've been concocting. Uh. <laughs> I'm perfectly fine with that, thank you. <laughs> How many new recipes have you made since I've been away? My creativity is infinite, Reen. I'm always striving to make the finest dishes in the land. You're brushing up on your own cooking skills at the academy, weren't you? Yeah, my classmates and I were cooking for ourselves at one point. Wait a sec, where'd my recipe book go? This game on JP version is not full voice. The next team worked so hard to put English voice into many conversation that JP didn't have. Oh, okay. So, so there's gonna be a lot of cutscenes that actually aren't voiced then. That kinda sucks. Did you lose it? I guess so. I had all kinds of different recipes written down too. Well, you went out of your way to come see me. I suppose this is the least I can do. Take this. This is a new recipe book? Spare I had lying around, so go ahead and use it. I know how much it hurts to start from scratch again, uh, so I threw in a recipe to try. Here are some sweet ingredients too. Salty onigi. Okay. This is what Elise often used to bring me while I was training. Are you sure it's okay to me for me to just take these? Absolutely. I'm happy to see that you can't to understand the joys of cooking while you're at the academy. Besides, taking the time to enjoy cooking should help to lift your spirits somewhat. They don't have the bunch of full boys. Fair enough. There's a lot of characters in the game, and like, full voice would be freaking expensive. Yeah. And this is like the second game as well. What about like the third and fourth game, actually? Like, since they managed to get that many games, I would assume that those had a higher budget. Besides, taking the time to enjoy cooking should help you lift, help to lift your spirits somewhat. 
It's a simple recipe, so why not go and make it with your family? <laughs> Thank you very much, then. <clears throat> Boy, the first thing an NPC, NPC gives you for free the salts. <laughs> Salty onigiri, salty rice balls. If you see the VA list, you'll be surprised how they can hide meh with this famous VA into one game. Let's see if I can recognize them when they start speaking. Uh, we don't need to go here, do we? Let's check the bathrooms. Looks like the baths are being cleaned at the moment. Ah, uh, okay, fine. Alright then. I won't take a bastard. <laughs> okay, let's go to the Echo Tavern. Hey, my bird. Tony Kaku. I recognize this voice. Who is he? Ojo-san and Kojo Denka were Yeah, I can tell. I really do appreciate you coming for me, though. I was pretty far out of town, so I didn't think anyone would find me. Just goes to show what braces can do, I guess. Ah. それなんだが実はお前さんの場所は俺が突き止めたんじゃなくてな。念のため調べに行ってみたら案の定お前さんがいたわけさ。友達好きだ。通過すぎた。元気。まさかあいにゅ。見当もつかないな。聞き覚えのない声だったし。いや、どこかで聞いたことがあったよ。<笑> なかったよな。いや、いつでもレコナイズファンダーライン。ま、こっちの方はこれ以上考えても仕方ないか。今はまさに怒ってる内戦の方が問題だろう。I suppose you're right. Have you and the rest of the guild been doing much? Well, we've been trying. We're pretty limited in what we can do, partly because we've all been split up since the war broke out. I don't even know if any of the others in Erebonia are okay, Zara included. It sounds like things have gotten even more serious since I was away. Sure has. Not even regular civilians have been able to escape being affected by it. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, having... Having uh, Sugita in this, that's already pretty... Uh, that's a high-tier voice actor. <laughs> uh, we mean Gintoki from Gintama. No, not, not that one. That one's a different one. I actually can't remember who this voice actor is, though. As it stands, the Noble Alliance has been the overwhelming advantage. But the Imperial Army is showing no signs of surrendering to them, particularly in a few regions across this country. I see. Oh, and another thing you might hear. We get reports of a few Jaeger Corps taking part in the war, too. Even members of Ouroboros. Jaeger Corps are like... Kind of like the assass assassination cult or something, I think? Kind of? If you recognize at least some voice. Ouroboros. Had secret society? That's alright, we had to fight against Ouroboros last game too. That's the one. Jaegers are being employed here in Erebonia is nothing new. But there's way more of them here these days. As for Ouroboros, they're probably just trying to stir up trouble on their own. It's what they do best. 
Then there's the fact that Erebonia isn't the only place with problems right now. Crossbell's full of them too. Ugh, so much to freak out about these days, I could drive you insane. Sorry. You got enough on your plate without me dumping all this on you, huh? Try saying all those bad Try saving all those bad thoughts you got piled up for another day, okay? You need to focus on relaxing. You can decide what you want to do after that. Uh sure. Thanks, Toto. You're probably right. It's a fountain of good advice, huh? <laughs> I've just got a few years worth of life experience on you, that's all. And while I'm giving you good advice, why not take a dip in the hot springs? Could be a nice way to clear your head. Probably would. Hasn't let me down before. Maybe I should pay a visit to the Phoenix Wings later. I mean, I just tried. <laughs> okay, let's go to the shop. Alright. Finally upgrade? Good to see. Between going missing for a month and ending up on the Alliance's wanted list, Yad was worried, man. Yeah, man. Sorry about that. I feel awful. Ah, uh, don't be. I'm just glad you're alright. Yeah, take a couple of these from me. You can join them with the lease later. <laughs> Thank you. It's been a while. It feels like it's been forever since I had the last had the chance to enjoy your cooking. I may not look the type, but I'm always amazed by how well he makes his stuff. I remember when he used to give the lease and me sweet things for all the time after we came home from Sunday school. Good times. Shop. Well, I might as well rest. Actually, was there a cost for that? I feel like there was a cost for that. Oh, it cost money. Shit. <laughs> so I should have used my bed. Ah, fuck. Whatever. How many do I have? How much money do I have? I have just barely any money. Alright, we'll just deal with it when the time comes then. Just check upstairs for anything. Okay. Let's see if I can try taking a bath now. Maybe. Because he just told me they could try. I doubt it. Yeah. How many little dastardly fishies I can catch today? Ah, uh, we're gonna get a fishing rod, aren't we? I wasn't expecting to find someone fishing here. Not like there's a whole lot of monsters here, though. So she should be safe if she doesn't stray too far. Just who might you be? Uh, I'm a student from Thor's Military Academy. Sorry for disturbing you. Oh, there's no need to apologize. If anyone should you be sorry, it's me for overacting the way I did. Trying to get yourself wet, I see. <laughs> Actually, since you are a, Thor a student of Thor's, you wouldn't happen to know a young man named Kenneth, would you? Kenneth? I do, actually. He's in the Imperial Fishing Corps. That's the guy. That's wonderful news. Perhaps you might know where I could find him as well. Sorry, I'm afraid I have no idea. Really? That's not so wonderful. Have you fished on the Magic Ops? So you know him too? Indeed. When the war first broke out, we fled Trista together. But on the way, he told me that he had something that he needed to take care of, and asked me to go alone. He promised to meet me here in Ymir, but there's been no sign of him since. That's unfortunate. 
Not that I believe anything untoward could possibly have happened to him, of course. After all, there's nothing in this world that can crush the spirit of us anglers. When it comes to survival, even soldiers can't hold a hand to us. Right. That said, you're looking a little glum. Times like this, there's nothing like a spot of fishing to cheer up. You know, Kenneth, it's only fair for me to assume you're a fan of fishing too. I am, in fact. Kenneth even gave me a title. White Tangler, I think? I don't have my fishing gear with me anymore, though. Do you mean now? Sounds like you're still learning the ropes of fishing, then. In that case, please take these. Yeah, see? I knew it. <laughs> In CS1, we worked so hard to put them together, Kenneth and Annabelle. <gasps> we did too, right? He had a crush on her, right? Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. Kenneth let me in charge of some of his fishing gear. He instructed me to give him away if I were to cross paths with any promising fellow fishing enthusiasts. So go on, they're rightfully yours. <laughs> Sounds like Kenneth, alright. Thank you very much. And since we've got you in your notebook, notebook open, I've taken the liberty of writing down your current title to help you keep track. You begin as Bronze Angler, just judged by the same standards as any professional. Aim for the top, become a fishing guide. Cheers his brothers by Anse. Beyonce. She is his brother's fiance. What? Kenneth's brother's fiance? Huh. <laughs> I'll try to do some when I've got the chance then. Uh, okay, okay. I don't quite remember it. So now mm. we can fish. Mm. Oh, I see. Okay, so we can race to fishy fishing and call the engagement off. Oh, okay. I'm trying to figure out whose voice this is. Can't recognize it. It feels like it's a character from SAO, but I, I can't recognize it. Alright, now where to? Back to uh, the Phoenix Wings. Time to take a bath, guys. I'm gonna wax our butthole. <laughs> Nani? <laughs> this is a girl's bath, which means I should turn right around right now before someone puts me fear of idols in me. <laughs> okay, okay. How do I how do I fill the notes? That's, that's what I want to know. Yeah. Unless you mean like I just fill the notes over time and I don't have to like. Well. I don't have to do anything in the notes screen because that's a log, right? And I just like see, like, need to do things in in the uh, actual world. <coughs> ah, Master Reen, may I help you? Actually, I'd like to use the hot springs. Are they open by any chance? Oh yes, of course. As it so happens, cleaning was only finished not too long ago. You can have any or even all of them to yourself if you wish. You just need to fish the new one though. Oh, okay. Go <laughs> we'll add to your note. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So maybe I should have gone fishing then. You don't have any or even all of them if you- okay. If you want to uh, at least you're in the number, I guess. I wouldn't gotcha though. Don't gotcha unless you want to go ham. Oh, 
might just take you up on your offer. Feels like it's been ages since I've had a chance to enjoy them. Entrance to the right. Enjoy, Master Reed. Try to go into the baths now. Maybe she'll go around and let everyone know I'm okay first. Ooh. Walk away. Basically, one, two species per one spot. Ah. Okay. Anything else to say? Okay, okay. So not in particular. Let's let's go fishing. Ow. Ow. It's not triggering. Ow. Ah, here, here, right, okay. okay. How do we do this again? Press B. Which button's B? <laughs> Sorry. a lot easier with the mouse. <laughs> oh, you can recover CP doing this? So I can just like randomly decide to fish in battle? Mazumazda, eh? Did I get everything yet? Yeah, bronze angler or oh, cussing. Uh, I, I need I need one more. Okay. Sorry. One more time. Hold up, I need to fish first. <laughs> That's the whole point, man. Yes, get to that. Okay. So I need to like go to another spot or something. Okay. I guess not. <laughs> you skip to the zoo. Uh, uh, go around this way. <laughs> I think we just go into the bar now, right? There's, there's nothing left. Let's, let's check the goods and souvenirs, just in case there's anything. I spent a hundred already, fuck. I don't really have money. I'm talking to town since you came back. Sorry I had to come back home under these circumstances. Sounds like everyone was pretty worried about me. How's shopping? Can't imagine it's been all that easy running with the wall going on. You got that right. Getting goods in has been a real nightmare lately. Getting enough cut for everyone in the village though. No, so don't you worry. You caught me right in the middle of taking stock, actually. You got any shopping to do? Can you come back later? Sorry. 
Oh, close. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. <laughs> I appreciate that. Okay. So, not today. And then we'll just take a bath then. There's one, two subquests, kind of BS. Yeah, I remember the subquests in one was like pretty bad. <laughs> it was hard. Okay, take the bath. To, to be safe, let's save the table. Well, they were just clean. A nice warm soak while enjoying the scenery sounds like just the right thing to right. Certain then. That this magic night something or other is coming here. I'm certain. I can sense its mana moving towards us. Still a fair distance away from now, but it's getting closer by the minute. Coming from the direction of the valley behind the village. Well, I finished it off, but I should have made sure. Didn't think anyone, anything could have survived that fall. But if anything could, it be one of those things. Well, you did what you could. Should bl shouldn't blame yourself. Still, why would it be coming here? My guess is because you're here. Almost specifically because the Ash and Awakener are here. It's after me. So these magic knights may have some connection to the divine knights. Well, that makes this easy. If it's after me, then I should be the one to go out and stop it. Then you'd be putting yourself in danger. I'll be fine. If I and I won't let it go anywhere near the village. In a way, I have to. If I can't do this, what hope do I have of getting Class Seven back together again? Oh, sounds like your mind's made up, and you appear to have recovered enough from my eyes. Alright then, I have no objections. We'll have all the villagers ready to evacuate as a precaution. Take care, Irene. Thanks, Mom and Dad. Let me come with. I doubt I could compare to Sarah, but I ain't too shabby in a fight. Really? Thank you. I feel a lot better having you around, honestly. Okay, so Tova, Salim, you guys almost are ready to head up. Actually, if you don't mind, Irene. I would like to come with you. You would? Please. It's not an opponent to be taken lightly. A fact I'm sure you're well aware of. I fully understand the dangers this will entail. Combat etiquette is imperative to call calling oneself a noble, and I am familiar with the sword style of Shorza family. You trained me yourself, Reed. Well, that's true, but... You're certain this is what you want to do, Elise? Yes, I am. My brother has chosen his path, and as his sister, I, fit, I have a duty to support him. Not only as his sister, as the daughter of the House Schwarzer, I have every intention of doing whatever it is within my power. <laughs> I how you've grown. Indeed, as your father, I couldn't be more proud. Take her with you, Reed. I have plenty of faith in her abilities as a swordsman, but I also think she would keep you from doing anything too rash. <laughs> Dad, come on! I don't think you've got anything to worry about. She's stronger than you're giving her credit for. Like your dad said, she knows her way around the sword. She's pretty good at using an Arcus too. She saved me and her highness for more than a few tough spots on our way here even. <laughs> That's what that she did. And I'm sure she'll be capable of even more with her beloved brother at her side. Still, hold on. Since when has Elise had an Arcus? Oh, left that fun detail out when catching you up, didn't I? Prince Oliver gave me a couple of spares, actually. I had a hunch that these two would have a knack for them. A bit of practice. So I showed him the ropes on the way here. <laughs> I know you're against her coming with us, but we really don't have much time here. It's pretty clear that nothing you say is going to change your mind, but I think it's about time you gave up when we got going. Uh, fine. You can come to Elise. Don't even think about doing anything I'll put you any further. Put you any further in harm's way than you need to be. Promise, okay? I promise. Alright, let's get start getting ready then. If either of you know need anything to do last minute, get it done now. After that we'll make our way for Yumiya's back entrance. Alright. That's right. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, she looks completely different in this screen. Uh, tactics. Let's go. I don't know what he's like, though. Um... Impede and seal. Two rapid strikes sealed and weapon. 100% seal, holy fuck. How much CP does this cost? <laughs> unbalance plus 50. Can't unbalance. Seals arts. Ooh, 100% as well. He's pretty good. Okay. She's got delay as well. Nice. Of course. Same school. S same school as Oni chan. And she has heal. Okay. That's nice. Uh, okay, then I'm going to. Ah, don't have any. Spare quartz. Chrono drive. Okay, he's got chrono drive. That's good. Right. Oh, okay. I thought they were the same. I guess not. But the, the techniques are similar, though. Because they both had delay. learn from my father. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, no money. What about the fish? Can I sell the fish? So let, let's go fishing for a bit, uh, get some money, and buy some items. Herbal is an orb specialist list. Is he? I know Chrono Drive is really good. It's just expensive to use though. Yeah, 655 EP. Ooh, that's a lot of EP. Yeah, okay. Chatu! I wanted to go fishing! Alright, search is on. Magic Knight's somewhere in this direction, right? That's right. Very slowly coming this way. So as long as we keep following this path, we should find ourselves face to face with it at some point. Well, the further away it is, the better. We're going to need to fish, finish it off before it reaches the town, or we're in trouble. You turn being up for a few, been up here for a few times, right? Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, I went up this way with the rest of the class seven just a couple of months ago, even. Wasn't really planning to, but we didn't have much choice thanks to Blue Blanc and his antics. Blue Blanc, huh? Yeah, it sounds like his thing. Once he's latched onto you, it's a one way trip to Crazy Town. Sounds like it's a little late to be saying that to you. I don't get the feeling he's involved in any of this, though. Well, it's much milder now than it was then, so we shouldn't, quite, shouldn't have quite as much trouble climbing, thankfully. Doesn't mean it won't be dangerous, however. Watch yourself. Alright. What's that? Oops, looks like we found ourselves a monster. Really tough looking one too. Indeed, but I can't imagine it being a problem as long as we can make proper use of our combat links. Be careful, Rain. Oh, please. <laughs> oh.
Okay. behind um here how do i set links oh there we go that's probably a bad idea we should at least do it like this way Access to crafts can just unbalance enemies. A will need attack pits. <laughs> right, so that's the weapon efficiency on it. Or no bandana. Weapon sucks ass against this thing. Alright, um. It's weak to poison and seal. And fire. Oh, you don't have any fire. これで大丈夫だ。Cover the basics, let's go back to searching. Combat links. Check the party's members' bonds for the mob. They can use powerful link abilities. Okay, cool.
Okay, um... Alright. So I'm probably gonna have to do a bunch of tedious things in between. <laughs> Before I get to the boss. Elize, are you okay? I want to fish, get some money. So I'll probably do that off screen, and um, once I've prepped up the team enough, then I'll probably stream next time. Alright, anyways, I'm probably going to end it here. Uh, I'll continue with uh, Trails of Cold Steel next week, Saturday as well. I don't know, I uh, might start it a bit earlier, because uh, I, I do think these games like take a lot more time to play, so I'll probably take a bit more stream for a bit more longer next week. But anyways, yeah, um, I'm probably going to call it there for today. Alright. Thanks guys for hanging out. I will see you guys on Tuesday. Yes. Yeah. Tuesday or we'll stream some next year. Alright. See you guys.